Hi everyone, this is Pawan and watching me on the channel called The Virtual Coach. In this video, I'm going to summarize Gardner, which is written by P. Lankesh. So let us start this video without wasting any time. P. Lankesh was born in the year 1935 to 2000. He's an Indian writer and a journalist who wrote in Canada. After graduating with the honors degree in English from Central College of Bangalore, he completed his Master's of Arts in the English from Maharaja College of Mysore. So you can include this as a poet you know, introductions in the final examination. Now, we start with the story. It is said that this short story of Lankes shows his preoccupations with the human meanness and attempts to explore the evaluations of post-emergency political and cultural scenario. So, what happens is that after a particular competition, what happens after post-scenario? So, this is what it's going to, you know, indicate in the story. So, the narrator addresses the reader directly in the first person asking for apology for being brief. He says that the story was convinced in a flash and hence it if he elaborates it then it loses its vitality. Therefore only four characters besides the narrator only Tamanna, Basavaya, Sangoji and the owners of the coconut grove and his wife. So this is what the four characters that we have in the story. Now there are two stories in the story. The first story is narrated by the author in the first person and the second story is narrated by the Tamanna who is also protagonist of the story. In the second story, the narrator protagonist tells that his story to the lady distancing himself from the main story. Got it? Now, if we start with the main story, so what happens here is that one day the old man came to a coconut garden after walking hundreds of miles. Since the owner of the plantation needed a person of his qualification, he hired him immediately after talking to him for a minute. Thus the old man became an employee in the coconut group and stayed on. The old man did useful work. He was so well versed in the agriculture that he easily understood the problems of the workers. The pretty thefts in the garden came to an end and naturally the income from the garden improved dramatically. Consequently, the increase in the income brought a perceptible change in the lifestyles of the owner. The plantation expanded but the owners became lazy and shoot away from the hard work. The owner's wife found owner's behavior strange and puzzling. She was found it hard to decide whether the old man's arrival was better for his worse or it was worse for his better. Her husband's wealth and social prestige had risen higher and he had acquired great number of friends in his own village in the next town as well. Even though he did not do any useful work, his life became crowded with the colorful events. On the account of his newly acquired clout, he cultivated umpteen other vices including adultery. Though their farm was initially merely 10 acres, it had grown beyond their imagination. Therefore, the owner's wife realized that Financially, they had been doing well, but her only source of worry was that along with the financial improvement, their life was also gradually getting out of hand. Thus, one day when she was in the fix like this, the old man met her. He smiled at her, bowed down an offering of fender coconut cooked from the nearby tree and sat on the embankment of the well. She had no alternative to, and so she sat next to him and the old man now begins his narrative and takes actions of plot into its climax. Now, the old man says that in a far off place, says once there was life, man called Tamanna. He had everything, ten acres of land, comfortable house. Besides this position, he had also a rival and his name was Sangoji. However, soon after uttering the name Sangoji, the old man started fumbling for the word as if had committed a mistake. Connect group owner's wife, who was listening, felt that it was not none of her concern and felt like going away immediately. But not wishing to hurt the old man, she continued to sit there quietly. The old man continued his story. He corrected himself once saying name was not Sankozi but Basavaya. Tamanna and Basavaya were rivals. If Tamanna bought four more acres of adjacent to his land, Basavaya would also do the same. If one of them had 10 friends, the other would acquire 15 admirers. Though initially all looked like healthy competition, it took a nasty turn later. The rivalry rose to such pitch that there was no land left in the village for them to buy. All land belonged to either Tamanna or Basavaya. Tamanna had 1000 acres of land and Basavaya had 800 acres of land. Basavaya could not tolerate this. His men, uh, his men asked Tamanna to sell 200 acres of land. 
but tamanna refused to do so uh, and that is the reason tamanna offered to buy all the land that belonged to basavaya basavaya became furious he went along with his people and acquired 200 acres of land of tamanna's land actually and that was also forcibly and got it fenced up all around tamanna's advisers told him that there were three ways to in which tamanna could get back his land he could go to the court of law he could also resource a police if he did not like to do so either way he could also use muscle power to get his land back there was any number of persons ready to attack basavaya and wrest his land from all the wo here what happens is that tamanna was in such a method that could destroy the basavaya completely tamanna got all his experiences composed in the form of ballads and sang them in public the rivalry moved away from invisible to invisible basavaya could not do the same way he tried to sh- show his rivalry in doing the agricultural task more diligently but that was also in a vein meanwhile tamanna's reputation started spreading all around his songs started making mentions of basavaya's cruelty and his meanness scholars and the critics were after his songs and earned their shares of fame basavaya became desperate and angry and retaliated by encroaching on the more and more on tamanna's land but tamanna was ignorant of all this blissfully enjoyed his singing basavaya felt very humiliated which he had tried to hide by acquiring all kinds of luxuries he got a palatial mansion built for himself appointed a number of people to praise him and bedecked himself with the gold diamonds and other precious stones but his house looked dull and empty because of the manna's book we had not there he attempted to fill a lacuna by inviting a scholar poet and the musicians to his place this way he tried to invest his home with a meaning one day basavaya came to know tamanna was ill the news made him made him happy at that point basavaya found the means of surpassing tamanna health is well tamanna's disease was basavaya's health but tamanna thought differently he had thought of yet another me- uh, method of punishing basavaya tamanna contempt death as long he continued to his rivalry at the level of body basavaya would go on offering a stiff competition but he died basavaya if he died basavaya could do nothing to defeat him the old man ends his story telling the coconut garden owner's wife was wishing to destroy the basavaya completely tamanna gave up everything and ran off from his village as long as tamanna was there basavaya had reason to live but once tamanna left the place basavaya passed away the old man tells the lady that basavaya died because of he had no reason to live then he confesses to her that tamanna himself but, uh, that he is tamanna then he confesses to her that he is tamanna himself after basavaya's death tamanna tells the lady that he has forgotten all the songs and ballads lost his fame and became non entity he concludes telling her that the way he avenged himself tamanna tells the woman that was the experience of his life had made him realize that human nature is very strange he sums up his experience in one sentence he tells that do man works to fulfill his many needs like wealth education arts and many more things yet those things do not give him is a right compelling reason to live finally he asks her to take her whole story as a dream and not to take his words seriously thank you so much for watching this video